Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Very excited about today's video. I know a lot of you guys are probably very excited about today's video because we are doing another seven looks video. These are by far my most requested videos from you guys and it's actually been a little while since I filmed one. So I did ask on Instagram and also in a poll here on YouTube which palette you guys most wanted to see me create seven looks with and the one that got the most votes was the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette. And I have to say, this is the one that I personally was kind of rooting for because not only is this a newer palette to me, but when I did my first impressions video on this palette, which I will link right here if you haven't seen that one yet. I was absolutely blown away by this palette. It is beautiful. The formula is lovely. I will get into a few more details about it after the seven looks, but we're going to jump right into these seven looks. Before we do, welcome to any of you that are new to my channel. If you enjoyed this type of video, be sure to check out my seven looks playlist, which I will link down below. With that said, let's jump right into look number one.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed those seven looks. As always, I ask this every time. I would love to know which one or ones were your favorites down below. I had so much fun creating these seven looks, working with this palette. I absolutely love this palette, you guys. I am blown away by the quality of these shadows. I have a lot of really good eyeshadow formulas in my collection, but this might be, as far as just the overall entire palette goes and the different formulas inside here, everything is formulated to perfection. They are so easy to work with. The shimmers pack a real punch. The more satiny shimmers are so easy to pop on the lid with a brush or a finger, which sometimes is not the case with shimmers. These ones all applied very easily with either a brush or a finger, which I really appreciate. A lot of the time with other eyeshadow formulas, I have a hard time getting shimmers to work for me with a brush, but these actually looked just as good with a brush as they did with my finger, which is pretty rare. And the mattes inside here, they are so so beautiful. They are easy to blend. I just think they are incredible. So a couple details about this palette. It is only available on the Sydney Grace website. It has gone out of stock a few times. I will let you guys know right here if it is currently in stock when I am editing this video. This palette does retail for $52, which is quite a pricey palette, but the shadow pans inside here are very, very large. You get quite a bit of product in each of these pans. I believe when I checked, you actually get more inside the pans here than you even do in the regular Sydney Grace individual shadows, which I believe are the same size as a standard kind of MAC sized eyeshadow pan. I also want to mention that when I ordered this, I did use a coupon code, which saved me quite a bit of money. I used Mel Thompson's coupon code. I will actually link that down below for you guys as well, because it did bump it down quite a bit in price. And with the shipping, this ended up being under $50, which made me feel a little bit better. The packaging is pretty nice. It is a nice tin package. It does have a large mirror inside here. I do feel like it feels a little bit like the hinge feels very loose, but not necessarily in a bad way. It just doesn't feel quite as like sturdy as say the Too Faced or the Urban Decay tin packages, but it is really nice. I think this would be really nice and travel friendly. It is quite hefty. It does weigh quite a bit. And when I initially got this and I saw the packaging and even the colors inside this palette, although I thought they were beautiful, I wasn't super inspired or excited about them looking at them inside the pan. But once I used them and saw how these look and perform on the eyes, it really was one of the most magical experiences in an eyeshadow palette that I've ever experienced. A lot of these shades inside here seem very subdued and subtle, and even when you swatch them on your finger, on your arm, they seem like they're not gonna do much, but somehow when you put these on the eyes, they are perfect. All these lighter to mid-tone mattes create the most perfect transition shades for pretty much any eye look you would want to create. I will say if you are into warm shadows, this does not have a lot of options for warm shadows inside it. I would say most of them are neutral, leaning a little bit more cool, with the exception of this brown right here, but even this brown I would say is more of a neutral brown than a warm brown. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you only like the look of warm tones on you, you might not enjoy this palette, but I have to say I was surprised by how much I love this because I am actually one of those people that usually does prefer warm tones on myself. Those are just kind of the looks I like. I feel like they bring out the little bit of blue that I have in my eyes, but every single shadow that I've tried out inside here, every eye look that I created for this video, I absolutely loved. So this palette does include 15 eyeshadows. It includes seven mattes and eight shimmers. Of the shimmers, some of them are more satin. Some of them are much more foiled and reflective. I think the ones that are the most foiled and reflective, let's turn this thing around, are this one down here in the corner, which is the color John. This is kind of a greenish champagne. Then this color up here, which is a more pink shell champagne, is the color Devotion. Loved that one as well. These are true intense foiled metallics, and I absolutely love these colors. I just want to warn you guys though, if you put this color especially, actually either of these, if you put these on your lid, they are intense. They are going to take over your eye look and be the star of the show. So I felt like when I put these on my lids, it almost made, like if I was using something else in my crease or in my outer corner, it almost made those looks almost look the same because when this shade is on your lid, it really is kind of all your eyes can focus on because it is so stunning and beautiful, but I, but I absolutely love them. And I would just recommend if you don't want something so intense or so bold or something that stands out so much, I would just use a very light hand or use a very little amount and really kind of shear it out and blend it into, into your lid if you don't want this to just take over your entire lid because they do pack a punch, let me tell you. These two shades right here are also quite metallic. This is the shade Deanna. This one is the shade Albert. I am wearing Albert on my lid right now. It is very nice and reflective. It's a good kind of silvery taupe. It has a bit of a purple shift to it, but I really love this taupe shade. We're going to try and do a comparison because there is another shade. I'm curious to see how this 
compares to, but that one again was one of my favorites. The ones that are a bit more of a satin finish are this color right here, Romeo in the corner, this color Elizabeth, the blue underneath it, which is the color Ruth, and also this deeper purple, which is Abigail. These ones are not quite as foiled, but I actually love these because you can use them as lid colors. They give you a little bit of shine, but you can also blend these into your crease. They blend out really nicely and work really well as like a crease color would. So you could actually use these to just add a pop of color into your outer corner or up through your crease. I especially loved doing that with this pinky purple right here. So there are a couple shades inside here that made me think of some other shades inside my collection that reminded me a little bit of them. So I just wanted to go through and do a couple of comparisons. For the most part, I feel like a lot of these shades were very unique just in color and also in formula. But I wanna start off comparing a couple of these shades to the Alomar Cosmetics palette. This green right here in the corner, I do think it's gonna be a little bit different. I feel like this one might be a little bit lighter, but it did remind me of one of my favorite shades in my entire collection, which is this one right here in the Alomar Cosmetics palette. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch of these two. So here is the green John inside the Sydney Grace palette. And here is the green inside the Alomar Cosmetics palette. So this one right here does look a little bit more kind of lime green, whereas this is more of like a silvery champagne green. They're more different than I thought they might be, and I actually love them equally. They are both absolutely stunning. But another one I noticed inside here is this blue right here. They kind of look similar as well. So let's go ahead and swatch Ruth, which is the blue in the Sydney Grace palette. And then next to that is the shade Varadero inside the Alomar Cosmetics palette. Okay, so Varadero is a little bit more bright. It is a little bit more teal or green in tone. This one has a little bit more of like a, I don't know, it's just a little bit more subdued. Both are really beautiful. This one just, I think, is a little bit more punchy. Another shade I wanted to compare is the shade I'm wearing on my lid right now, which is this taupey silver. This is the color Albert, and it reminded me a little bit of the color Lituation inside the Jackie Ina palette by ABH. So let's go ahead and swatch Albert first. Okay, these I can already tell are going to be quite different. So here is Albert. Again, this is the one that I'm wearing on my lid today. And next to it is Lituation from ABH. So you can see Lituation is quite a bit more purple in tone, not quite as silver. And for my last comparison, I wanted to take a look at this shade right here, which is the shade Abigail. And it actually reminded me quite a bit to this shade right here inside the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. This is the shade Layla. So here's the shade Abigail from the Sydney Grace palette. And here is the shade Layla from the Nubian 2 palette. So they are quite similar. This one is just a little bit deeper. So that is it for the shade comparison. I haven't gone through everything extensively. I know there might be other similarities that I have in my collection somewhere, but for the most part, I feel like most of the shades inside here were quite unique. And what made them especially unique is the way that these perform. Now I will say this, this is a very pricey eyeshadow palette. I still love and appreciate palettes that give you good quality, but are at a much more affordable price. For example, ColourPop palettes, I love them because they are so affordable and I think their formulas are great. I do think this is a better formula. This to me is very obviously a high-end performance eyeshadow palette. The way that these blend, the easiness of use of these on the eyes and just the perfection of the tones inside here, especially for someone that has medium to lighter skin, I think you could not go wrong with this palette. So if you are someone that maybe is very particular about your eyeshadows, if you find some formulas, you don't like the way they apply on you, you have a harder time blending eyeshadows and you're really looking for something that is going to be easy to use and you are okay spending a little bit more money for that, I think that you would absolutely love this palette and probably just her brand in general. That's kind of the consensus that I've gotten from you guys in the comment section talking with you about Sydney Grace's eyeshadows. Not only is this palette amazing, but a lot of you have said her individuals are amazing as well. I am very excited to try more because these just knocked my socks off. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today. Thank you for watching these videos, well, any of my videos, but these ones in particular because they do take quite a bit of work and I really appreciate your enthusiasm about them. And I also wanna say this, I know that there are other palettes that you guys really want to see me do seven looks videos on. I am still hoping to do the other palettes that I had in that poll as well. Also, a couple of you have mentioned the Dream Street palette. I haven't done that yet. I can't get to them all right away. Not only my time would limit me, but also the outer corners of my eyes really take a beating in these videos. So I've got to give myself a little bit of time to recover, but I am definitely planning to do some more and hopefully very soon as we are all stuck at home, saving our money and really wanting to get some use out of our older palettes. Thank you guys again. I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy. One more reminder, if you haven't yet subscribed, I would love for you to do that before you leave and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye. Beautiful, love, blue, oh my 
goodness, three toilet flushes in a row. How is that even possible? It's morning. It's actually 7.30 in the morning right now. Yes, I did wake up at 5.30 this morning to film this look for you guys. I can't believe I don't look more tired than I do. Probably sound tired though. I got money too. You do have money too, huh? What did you do with your money? I, I, I just pick it. Where did you get to go with your birthday money? Like Remember where we dollar went? Store. The dollar store. Yes, you got to pick out so many toys at the dollar store, huh? Yes, I do. Me do. You did. It was so fun. Yeah, huh? I played a Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Yes. What else did you pick? Oh, you Color love... dinosaurs. Yeah. What kind of dinosaurs did you get? With my birthday and Saturday. So... On Saturday. Is your birthday on Saturday again? Yeah. Uh, not quite. Bye. <laughs>